sponsored by Audible. Go to audible.com slash cow to get a free audiobook today. Guys, I had a very scary thought this week and I just need to talk it out. So you know how when you see pictures of your parents when they were younger, they're always these old grainy photos? Like here's a picture of my dad when he was younger. When I look at this photo, it's hard for me to relate to it, you know what I mean? This is some weird alternate black and white universe that my dad grew up in. Like I wish I could talk to the kid in this photo. I feel like we have a lot in common. Hello? What is this? Oh, uh, hey, hey, kid, dad. Dad? I have a son? N no, 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 dad, dad, I'm, I'm from the future. I'm a very popular YouTuber. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? What is YouTuber? It's, it's a, it, it's a thing, it's a thing on the internet where you... What is internet? Kid, dad, I, I just want to connect with you, but, but I feel like we're growing up in completely different worlds. Are you in outer space on planet internet? All right, so that was depressing. And here's the thing, guys. I haven't even gotten to my main point yet. See, what I want to talk about today is our children. Not, not, not you and me, that, that would be weird. <laughs> the collective children, all of the children that we will one day bear. Separately, their relationship with us is going to be very different than our relationship with our parents. Why, you might ask? Because our kids are gonna be able to look back on us in HD glory, my friends, HD. Actually, they're probably gonna look at HD and think that it's like old black and white photo because, you know, it's probably gonna be 100K at that point, you know, 4K. But no, our, our parents didn't carry cameras in their pockets all day, snapping selfies, posting about their mood every 10 seconds. They're going to see every single stupid thing we ever did online. <laughs> I'm suddenly starting to understand the appeal of Snapchat. Think about the future children! We show it to all the hot babes who are Snapchatting me constantly. Just wanted to say real quick that it's not cool if when you Facebook message me and I Facebook message you back that you don't Facebook message <laughs> We're the first generation that grew up with digital documentation of everything. Like, you know that thing on Facebook where it shows you things you posted a year ago? Two years ago? Ten years ago? <laughs> you think that's awkward now. You have a new notification from FaceLife. Would you like me to read it? Oh, fun! Please show me! Great. Here is something your grandfather posted 60 years ago today. Love will carry me through. <laughs> Even during the hardest times, love <laughs> is all I need. Oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing! <laughs> Would you like to hear more? Oh yeah. <laughs> Open up program, deleted tweets. Those are always the best. If I think too hard about the long trail of embarrassment that I am one day going to have to justify to my children, I get very scared. I'm afraid that they won't take me seriously as a parent or a person. Son, do not use that word. I don't like it. Oh, come on, Dad. You used to say it all the time. Um, no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you did. It showed up in my memories on Face Life last week. Now, it just kind of makes me a little more cautious about the stuff I post online, you know? Anytime I type or post anything, I, I try to think, does this reflect the kind of person I want to be for my future children? Because chances are, they're gonna be able to find all the things I've posted. Oh, there was this thing my dad used to do called subtweeting, where he would call someone out, but without actually using their name. <laughs> what a typical millennial. I know, like why did he think that anybody cared at all about what he had to say? <laughs> like I said, Typical millennial. Yeah. <laughs> but the silver lining is that they're probably gonna want to rebel against the superficiality, vanity of their parents. Hopefully. I bet they'll value their privacy a bit more. I mean, no kid wants to be like their parents, right? And honestly, right now, that's probably for the best. Not to brag, son, but growing up, I had 1,000 followers on Instagram. Wow, Dad, that's really cool. But you know what? I, I'm not actually interested in followers, okay? I'm interested in real friends. Oh, I had friends. 372 of them, in fact. <laughs> What? I didn't do Facebook as well! Sue me! Stay tuned for a scene from our next episode! So, Kid Dad, what's your least favorite thing about the past? I don't like that I have to read so many books for school. It takes too long. Don't worry, Kid Dad. One day, when you're older, you'll be subscribed to a service called Audible. Audible? What is that? 
Audible has a huge library of audiobooks to choose from, so you can listen to a book while you're driving or doing chores or whatever. Do they have the Time Machine by H.G. Wells? Yes, they do. And I'll tell you what, Kid Dad, you can get an audiobook for free along with a 30-day free trial by going to audible.com slash cow. Oh, 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 right. Uh, well, don't worry, Kid Dad. One day you'll have the internet. Uh, uh, so, everyone else, go to audible.com slash cow and get a free audiobook today. Do it for my Kid Dad, because he can't. Next week on Messy Mondays, Jordan reveals an exciting secret to his son. Son, I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to tell you this, and now is the time. When I was younger, about your age, I was a famous YouTuber! Oh, oh, please, keep your voice down, are you serious? Yeah, I know, it was awesome. No, that's not awesome, that's horrible! Please tell me that you weren't actually that. Yeah, I was. It was a pretty big deal. <laughs> Vain, self-important, arrogant, it all makes sense. You were a YouTuber! <laughs> Don't ever tell my friends, this is the most embarrassing moment of my life! Wow. Well, that went well.